Hello and welcome to another update video about HBAR. On the HBAR chart, we're still tracking here the yellow wave count primarily, which is an Elliott wave triangle, uh, which could lead to another bear market low. Um, there is also a bullish scenario, which is the white wave count, which would send price higher. And there are a few key breakout points that would make this one more likely. But at the moment, my preference is the yellow wave count. Um, the white wave count, just to highlight that maybe to start with, it is a 1-2 setup with a potential third wave in the making. But within the third wave, we've got a five wave move. Okay, So within that third wave, this here could be the first wave. We're now waiting for a pullback in a wave two. And if it then rallies and breaks above the previous wave one high at 9.9 .9 cents, then we might be dealing really with a white wave count. At the moment, I have no... Yeah, not just not sufficient evidence for it because, you know, the move up between December 22 and the February highs, that's a questionable five wave move. It then retraced too much. Okay, if we talk about Fibonacci retracements, it retraced too much to make a wave too reliable. And the move up afterwards was just corrective. So taking all of this evidence together, I'm rather focusing here on an Elliott wave triangle pattern maybe even something more bearish. But at the moment, um, this move up is considered a C wave of a triangle because it's a clear three wave move in a WXY structure. That's at least how I interpret it. We should then get a D wave down in the triangle, basically a higher low and a lower high in the E wave before it comes down and finishes off the entire, let's say, bear market, ideally. Um, in this structure on the micro level, we have an ascending trend line that the price is currently following. You could even argue that it is some kind of an ascending wedge pattern. These very often break to the downside. I'm sure we can draw that trend line so that it is more accurate or reliable. But they typically would break to the downside. And here you'd have to pay attention to the ascending trend line, of course. And the support level that needs to be broken to confirm further downside in this D wave. That's the last swing low at 5.6 cents. But it would be even better to break below what I have labeled as an A wave low at 5.26 cents. That could then send us down here into that C wave of wave D. Bear in mind, we have approached a trend channel. So the lower support level of that trend channel. So of course we could get a bit of a bounce, but I have no evidence that it's doing that at this stage, not motivated at all on the weekend. But yeah, I mean, on the micro micro level, I mean, it's hit massive support here in this trend channel. So you can always get a bit of a bounce here. Yeah, before it eventually comes down. I just don't have a very reliable long trade setup from here. But if anybody's trading this channel, I mean, we've now got a pullback trade uh, to the channel support level there, yeah. maybe with a stop below that last low, but it's not high probability, right? This can easily break down. But of course, these are sort of the trades for people who like to trade these channels. Um, besides that, I'm still watching if this C wave has started. Again, confirmation level will be a break below that 5.6 cent level, and it gets more confidence below 5.26. And this would be a C wave down, in my opinion, and it should reach 4.7 cents. Ideally, we calculated that last time because the target of the C wave in the D wave of the triangle, I think it is the one to one ratio we were looking at. Yeah, exactly. So roughly 4.7 cents. Bear in mind that within a triangle, we have these five waves, A, B, C, D, E, and each of the sub waves is typically a three wave correction. The C wave is typically a more complex correction, which we had here as a WXY structure. So this could now be the D wave and yeah, it could be the C wave of the D wave has already started. Um, if not, then this B wave might simply extend a little bit, but uh, therefore I gave you the confirmation or breakout points, yeah? So I'm following this wave count, following this wave count, as long as price stays below the 7.6 cent level, which is the top of that Y wave, the 15th of August high. Yeah, besides that, not much more to add. So hopefully we get a bit of volatility in again. Um, be aware that as long as we're holding the price channel, of course, price is in a short term uptrend, but it's just corrective and we're basically in resistance. I mean, I can add the golden ratio here as well, but we're basically in Fibonacci resistance or we were, we got rejected already. So moving correctively 
below resistance typically indicates that another low will be made yeah even if it's just a higher low but certainly it's not bullish it would really take a break above the eight cent level and then 9.9 .9 cents to really give further confirmation for the white wave count it just needs further evidence okay that's my update about hbar hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye